Hi, Stephen from Wagtail. Um, just thought I'd do a quick demonstration on how to prepare a raised vegetable garden bed. Very similar to the way you prepare a, a bed in the, in the ground. Um, these ones are actually wicking beds, uh, so they've got the reservoir uh, underneath, which means the plants get a consistent uh, amount of water. They tend to work much better in South Australia here with our very dry climate. Um, so very simply, because I know there's a reservoir underneath, I don't want to perforate it, so I'm going to be very careful with this garden fork. So I'm just going to put the garden fork into the soil, and as you can see, I'm tilting it back, but not very far. I'm just opening up the soil profile. You can see it's a little bit compacted there. Just working slowly across. Just not trying to turn the soil over at all. Making sure I don't go anywhere near the edges of the bed as well. So that's done. Uh, then I'm going to put my fertilizer on. Um, this one is mainly a nitrogen fertilizer. We're coming in for winter. Uh, and so most of the veggies we're growing now, in fact all of them, don't really produce fruit. It's the leaves that we're after. Leaves and stems. Um, if I was planting out a bed of carrots, um, you know, I'd probably use something that's, um, well, no, I'd probably use the same thing. They, they use a lot of uh, nitrogen to get leaves up so they're able to capture enough sunlight to put that nutrition down into their roots. Uh, so I've put my fertilizer on. The next thing I want to do is add compost. This is just a mushroom compost. Um, contrary to popular belief, compost doesn't have nutrients in it per se. I mean, sometimes it does, but what we're after is the humus. Uh, because that's what allows the transfer of nutrients from the soil and the bacteria in the soil um, to take that nutrients and use it like an interface through the humus into the plant's roots. So it's always good to add compost whenever you're gardening. Um, as, as I said, you know, we're trying to replicate what happens on a forest floor as all the leaves and twigs break down and generate humus. Now, to mix the soil and the fertilizer through, I have this tool, it's a four-time cultivator. Um, you don't need one of these, it makes life a lot easier. But you can do everything that I've just done, just with a garden shovel. You can, you can kill the weeds, you can just slice through a raised bed very quickly like that, just across the top of the soil to chop off all the roots of the um, weeds. <coughs> uh, you can mix the soil profile, exactly like this, You're just turning over those top 10 centimeters of soil and fertilizer and compost. Um, I mean, you could even get really low tech and use the shovel to smooth the soil over. And that's it. Um, very simple, quick way to prepare a raised garden bed for veggies. Cheers. <laughs>